Today we're going to make a super cloner for about $35. The only tools you're going to need are a pair of snips and a drill with a uh, doorknob hole maker on it. This is everything you will need to make this. You need a tray and a five gallon bucket with a lid. And I got this small pump on Amazon. This is a piece of half inch hose long enough to go around the inside of a bucket. And this is a half inch T and a half inch straight piece of tubing. This one's about six or seven inches long. These are the sprayers. I got these on Amazon. I don't have the length for them. But they were about $2.50 for 50 of them. They're really cheap. They screw into the half inch tubing that uh, goes around the inside of the bucket. You'll see that later. And you'll need some foam inserts. These are what hold your cuttings. Now let's turn this into this. First, use the snips to poke two small holes in the edge of the lid of the bucket. Now the reason for this is because when I didn't have holes, it leaked around the edge of the bucket, even when the lid was sealed tight. I don't know why, but it did. So I poked these two holes in the lid and it stopped leaking around the edge. Any water that squirted up through one of these holes would drain back down through the other one. Then I placed all my foam inserts where I wanted them. And I just used a felt marker to place a dot in the center of the insert. Next, you get to make some holes, but you don't have to have as many holes as I made in this one. You can have two, four, six, eight, whatever you want. And now let's put the hoses together with the half inch T fitting. This is for the loop that goes inside the bucket and the half inch straight piece for the stem that attaches to the water pump. Next thing to do is to take your red sprayers and poke them into the hose. I already poked some holes in there because they're pretty hard to jab in there by hand. And put this hose back on there because it fell off. Now just attach this to the water pump. And this is what it looks like. And now that you get that all together, place it inside your bucket. And then get another bucket full of water. Let's have a look at this in slow motion. in the pump make sure everything's working and that's what it 
looks like when it's spring. And you gotta unplug it so you can pull your cord through one of the holes. I should have done that first. But... Next, put all your inserts in the other holes. Save one to wrap around the electrical cord, just like you would a stem. And there you have a super cloner, or a hydro cloner, or a turbo cloner, whatever you want to call it, for about $35 to $40. And just to show you that it really does work, this was after 10 days. That was the first lid I made with only three holes, two for cutting, one for the cord. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and share this video and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.